Hi, I'm Hannah Gorslack and I'm here at Firebug in Leicester getting some more coverage for Handmade Fest. I'm here with the Attics Art Collective, usually six members, we've, but we've got three with us here today. We've got Robert... Hardy Cohen. Heather Faulkner. And Jane Moran. Okay guys, so do you, want me, um, do you want to tell me a little bit about the Attics Art Collective to start with, how you started, what you do? Yes, we would, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> we actually started right. as a studio. We started running a studio for artists in Leicester, kind of aiming more towards uh, students that were leaving the university, trying to provide a place for them to work and actually be affordable. Because it's really hard um, as an emerging artist to try and get a studio space, keep it as a practicing artist. So we, we started off trying to mainly do that and trying to promote other artists. But recently we've gone through a bit of a rebrand okay. and uh, we're trying really to focus on the collective as a whole. So the main core attic artists, which are the main six. Okay. So we're trying to focus more on our own art practice and uh, local events in Leicester and promoting Leicester as an art scene. But also working working as a group together rather yeah. than so we've we've all got our individual practices but we're also trying to work as as, as a collaboration as well. Okay. How did you guys meet? Um I met Heather on the first day of uni okay. and we worked pretty much next to each other since then. Um and then Joe and Amber, who Amber is the nice young lady who um on the egg originally <laughs> um, we're at uni together yeah we again met on the first day of uni yeah, yeah. so just a couple days apart um, and then it's Kate who was on your same she years and Emma who was on yeah so basically it's three two. students from two different years at Demonfer what um, sort of work do you do what things do you look into separately or is the egg that's a loaded question that is a loaded, <laughs> loaded question okay. let's go with what's your favourite thing that you've done together as a collective Gosh, that's also <laughs> Um I guess the stuff we've done for Handmade has been great because it's probably one of our first really big collaborative projects as a whole. Like Joe and Amber and Kate have been doing an exhibition that's going up at Embrace Art soon. Uh, so they've been doing kind of collaborative stuff as well. Mm -hmm. But as a whole of six of us, we've done um, The Art Machine, which is going to be shown here at Firebug, and Balloon Roulette, which is going to be shown at uh, Crumbling Cookie. Cookie. So they're probably the two of my favourites that we've been working on recently. So are we allowed to hear about what you're actually doing or are you keeping it under wraps until the festival? Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. you sneak it. <laughs> we have sneak people. Um, Do you want us to pop a balloon? <laughs> <laughs> balloon Roulette is inspired by um, a shot called uh, One Last Shot in the Deer Hunter, a movie. I don't know whether anyone's seen the Deer Hunter. But basically it's a really horrible kind of Russian roulette scene where eventually someone kind of kills themselves. It's not very nice. But um, like we, we were trying to kind of do a bit of a spin on it so it was more fun. So the idea of balloon roulette with balloons. Is, once again, kind of linking back to the accessibility of the kind of party which would be going on at Handmade Festival. So that's kind of what the work relates to and is about. Okay, now I've got a little task for you because thought, make it a little bit fun. Um, I I know that you were doing things with balloons. So here I have a balloon and I have a pen. And I'd like you to draw something on the balloon to, you know, entice people to have made fest. You know, draw whatever you like, just go crazy. So I knew start, Jay would go start first. and pass them along. And I've also done one and then like we can compare oh, yours who you you're like party and then you can compare it to mine because <laughs> if that doesn't entice people, I don't know what will. Joe's not actually a mask maker, that's what <laughs> Now, I hope going to spend about 15 minutes drawing. <laughs> I don't know what to draw. Things like that sell. Entice people. Entice people. It's yeah. enticing. <laughs> I'm just going to draw something absolutely silly. While we're drawing, is there anything else? Well, why should people go to Handmade first? Because it'll be a root and two in good time. Root and two in good time. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't see why you want. It's, it's like it's just going to be a bit it's of everything that everyone enjoys um, over a couple of nights. It's not expensive to go. Um, it's promoting Leicester as well as something that's quite important. I find that Leicester's really kind of brushed under the carpet sometimes when it comes to uh, big events. Oh, what's that pub? Um, also, um, hopefully Leicester's going to become a bit bigger with the arts um, recently. Um, with local 
places recently getting Arts Council funding. We're hoping that the Arts Council will be looking towards Leicester for um, new and emerging art, which there is an awful lot of, but a lot of people who come to DMU or do courses around the area end up going somewhere else because there's not necessarily that kind of um, infrastructure to support an artist um, that has got better in the last couple of years, but um, it's not great. I think on top of that, just the fact that if you don't go, John Helps will be sad. Because <laughs> oh, he's, put, he's yeah. put a lot of work into this festival and he's he managed to get some fantastic bands from across the country who really tour internationally. And um, I, think, I think it's just... If they, if they want to see things like this happening, they need to support it as it's happening the first time so that it can continue to grow. And continue, yeah, definitely. It is a continuation of keeping kind of comedy, music and arts alive in Leicester. Recently, like over the past few years, I think that Leicester's become quite a hub for kind of comedy and music, like the Dave Festival and things like that. So it's just the case of keeping it here in Leicester, keeping it local and promoting it. Okay, fantastic. And it looks like you're done with your balloon, so I'll get my balloon out. Right, so yours has, we've got... It's a pug, and it says, come to handmade. Pug, we've come to handmade. We've got, I am the best ever, and some boobs. Oh, that was, then, that's not boobs. That's like Joe's motif. It's oh, an M. So. Oh, this, this is really awkward now. Um, well, on mine, I did um, a hand, and I know the little finger is the same size as the thumb, but it's because they hit themselves with a hammer. That's and, actually really and good. And a maid, and um, she's not carrying a the Olympic torch. Maid. It's a duster and feathers. It's a handmade festival. Oh, I thought it was a paintbrush. I so, thought so, she was If there's any reason to come to Handmade Festival, I think we've explained it here on these balloons. That is actually like really good. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is yours better than ours? <laughs> Join well, the collective! <laughs> <laughs> Come make art! <laughs> so there we are, um, been here with the Attic Art Collective. Their work will be at Handmade Festival. Come along! Should we do a high five at the end? So oh yeah. my god, yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>